All right, design students, we're going to look today at using Gravit to make a food illustration for our menu project. Here's a basic example, and we're going to look at the steps to get through from start to finish and all the pieces that you will need. So in this video, we're going to start with the simple uh, starting point, which is the bun of our burger. So to do this, I'm going to start with a rectangle sort of drag it out here and make it sort of this uh, long but not particularly tall rectangle shape. I'm going to use the corner slider here to pull the corners in a little bit to round them off a bit. Maybe a bit more. I'm going to change the color uh, to a bun color which is easily found by clicking sort of yellow and then grabbing sort of in this middle area here for like a tan. We might go a little darker than that. And then I need the top of my bun, which I'm going to make by using a triangle. And I'm going to click in the center on this center line of where my bottom bun is and pull out the triangle and go till uh, hold shift so the bottom is flat and go till pretty much the outside of the bottom of the triangle matches the bottom here going to eyedropper the base and then I'm going to convert this guy into a path so I can edit him. I'm going to grab with the sub select tool and I don't need these extra vertices here so I'm going to press delete on my keyboard to get rid of them. And I'm going to grab the topmost one and drag it down. That looks about right, maybe a little lower. I'm going to with this point selected, click the mirrored option, and pull it out just a little bit to give us that sort of rounded top of the bun. And then I'm going to drag select for the other two points. And I'm going to choose asymmetric, which as you can see here has given us this really fat underside. What I'm just going to do is pull this one in till it is short. I'm going to pull this one in till it is short. And I might play with it a little bit more, but already that's starting to look like a bun. Here's the top of our bun and the bottom of our bun. And I might pull this out a little wider to match it up. Now, we want this to look as realistic as possible, so we're going to use a couple little tricks while working on this. Um, the first is we're going to pretend that the upper left of our corner is where our light source is coming from. So just like we did on um, some of our previous characters, I'm going to instead switch this to a linear gradient. And because I already set the color, it's going to grab the base color and take it to black. Now, here I have the hex code, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click the black tone. I'm going to paste the hex code in, which will get me close. I'm going to click somewhere else, and it'll get me basically the same color. So now I have same color to same color. I'm going to drag this guy down just a little bit so it gets darker, not too far. And that should do it. If I click out, I now have bright side, shadow side. Now, for the bottom of the bun, we can kind of cheat it. I'm going to again use linear gradient, but this time when I click the black corner here, I'm just going to eyedropper and copy from the right side of my existing bun. And if I want to make sure I get sort of as far over to the end as possible. There we go. Last but not least, I had some sesame seeds on the bun in my example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ellipse tool and make sort of like a small oval shape like this. I'm holding control and scroll wheeling in to zoom. And I'm going to convert this guy into a path by right clicking. And with the sub select tool, I'm going to select just this bottom piece here and make it a straight corner to give us that sort of like pointy seed shape. Then I'm going to pick sort of a light yellow that'll look like a seed color, maybe something in there. Now I'm going to make sure to switch back to my pointer, black arrow. I'm going to drag this guy out here. And this little white handle is great for rotating because it makes sure that I don't um, stretch my seed. So I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm just going to copy it all over the bun, a whole bunch. 
Um, you can even, if you like, like make like four and then copy four together. But I find just sort of putting them randomly as you see fit works pretty well. And then what you want to do is click each one and just mess with this little white bit a little bit. Make them a little bit random so they're not all pointed the same way. Makes it look a little more realistic to how the bun would really look. You just want to twist them all. You don't want any that like are right next to each other that are pointing the same way. So just randomize it a bit. Now this could be kind of a pain uh, to have all these different seeds on here if you want to be moving pieces around in our design. So our last step is to select all of it and click right here to group. And I'm going to just go ahead and double click and rename this top bun and my rectangle here on the bottom can be bottom bun. And that is where we'll stop. And uh, in the next video, we'll look at a patty and maybe some lettuce um, and some other options.